Okay, guys and gals, let's see what we have here. Today, I bought one of these. I have one of these from my tablet, but it broke, and so um, I bought another one for a dollar at Dollar Tree, and I guess I can get some more. Probably would work for my tablet, even though it does say it's for a phone. But um, it looks to be about roughly the same size as the other ones I have. Um, basically, what happened was um, this uh, part in here. It, oh, it's hard to see. Mm. Um, the, the, in the inner hand part cracked, and so it didn't really hold the tablet at all, so all I probably would really need is some really good super glue, but that's beside the point. Anyways, these are a dollar each. They're a dollar each at Walmart, too, but anyways. Um, but I couldn't find them at, like, Beardstown or, um, Macomb. I, they still had them at Pekin, but, um, I probably just don't know where to look for those. Anyways. I bought these today. We're not going to be opening up any Pokemon card packs today, but, um, oops, these are upside down. That's no help. We have these. Uh, we'll be opening those sometime, probably next week. Same thing with these, depending on where I go tomorrow or Wednesday. I might try to do another comparison video of, um, evolutions versus evolutions like I do every Friday. But, um, these are down the line. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for Thursday. It's Memorial Day. So, um, I don't know. I don't know of anything patriotic I can do. But, anyways, we will think about that. Anyways, enough of that. Anyways, this is going to be, um, a video. Oh, I'm going to use my little, my new little thing here. That way I don't have to hold my phone the whole time. Well, I probably should anyways. Um, because the, the AC is running, and it's because it's just frightfully hot all the time. Anyways, um, but I'm glad it's summer. It, it's about time. We had way too much winter. Anyways, let's see. Anyways, two minutes in, and I haven't said anything. That's just, like, really smart. Okay. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to talk about, um, basically ideas on how to, um, how to, um, reboot certain horror franchises. Basically, one in particular, I, I want to start by saying that um, I really like how um, they re they rebooted the um, Leprechaun franchise. Um, that was really awesome. I mean, it went from... And I don't know if you've seen that in the video yet, my, my video yet that I made of why the seventh video of the Leprechaun franchise doesn't exactly fit into the Leprechaun franchise. But, um, if you haven't seen that, then it's in, it's on my channel. Um, but yeah, I really like that revamp, the, the way they revamped that. Um, reboot, that's the word, reboot. I'm really glad they rebooted it. Anyways, so I'm really pleased with that. And yes, I'm going to get a lot of flames for this, but I also liked how they, re they rebooted the um, Halloween franchise with Michael Myers. and um, Yeah, I think it's Michael Myers, it's Halloween. Let's see, Friday the 13th is Jason Voorhees, okay. Trying to keep all these straight in my head. But I really like how, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis was back, and, um, and basically uh, how, um, John Carpenter was back, and that really, I think his vision for the, for, for that particular franchise really showed. Um, the franchise I want to talk about is the, um, Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, um, I read somewhere that Elm Street is never really mentioned in the franchise itself. It's just like the title. And I think that's kind of really cool because it could be like any house anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, but, um, yeah. What I've always found the most scary, psychological horror, what I've always found the most scary was, um, was that Freddy was able to invade dreams because they're like, you know, dreams are like sacred and secret and stuff like that. Yet he was able to like invade them, you know, stir, stir stuff up, that stuff, stuff like that. And um, actually what I found more scary than Freddy was um, was his house, you know, because it was like an entity in itself, you know, with all the chain, the meat hooks hanging around, you know, and the big old furnace where he would burn the bodies <laughs> and that. The Nightmare on Elm Street has had um, several reboots. I'm going to say they, they probably had um, two reboots. I'm not sure for sure. I'm probably wrong on that. I didn't do my research, and I'm not using a script or anything here. So, um, But I know there was at least one one reboot. 
and it really didn't go over too well. And I mean, it wasn't um, Robert England that was playing Freddy, and it was some different guy. And I think he did okay, but um, I think that a lot of people didn't like that. That um, the way that the movie went, and um, some of the quirks and stuff like that, because you're taking something iconic like the um, Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, and um, you know, trying to rework it. And, um, I don't know. Another thing I didn't really like about, um, and what I thought, felt was really needless, in the, um, the New Line Cinema, you know, when they, they did the, the whole revamp, is, um, basically, they made Freddy a pedophile, and I didn't really think that, that was really necessary. Because, I mean, he was basically scary enough without, you know, another reason to go after kids. And, um... And then, you know, about halfway through the movie, they're like, well, maybe he wasn't, you know, maybe he was, he was completely innocent, and then the the main character remembers, you know, oh, there's a still secret chamber right here, and then there's all this child porn, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah, well, now, now so what? He's like, he's like an immortal being now, and I'm like, who cares, you know? <laughs> but anyways, um, what I would do, <coughs> if I were to, um, completely revamp the franchise. I mean, Freddy's still, you know, like, really scary. But this is, like, the technological age now. And, um, to be honest, people don't really sleep. I mean, so, you know, like, so what? He he invades dreams. I mean, I know someone who doesn't even sleep in hardly an hour a day. I mean, so, I mean, well, the premise of somebody invading a dream is really, really scary. Um, it's, um, it's kind of, a dated, or outdated, rather, you know, um, concept. What I would do is, um, I would move Freddy into the technological age and have him somehow infect the internet. You know, kind of like how, um, Ralph and Vanellope, um, entered the internet, you know, in, um, Wreck it, in, um, Ralph Breaks the Internet, you know, Wreck-It Ralph 2. Except, um, it would be Freddy, and he'd be all scary, and it would be, you know, a horror movie. <laughs> Which, um, I did find some of the scenes in, um, Ralph Breaks the Internet to be rather unsettling, you know. Like when he forms this one big monstrous person, you know. And, and um, but it wasn't exactly a horror movie. It was still lighthearted, you know, and it had a good message. But, um, I've got a few examples here, and I know these are probably stupid ideas, but, um... This has probably been a, a franchise that's been done to death. But um, what I would do is um, I wouldn't go global, just a local area. Maybe he's only infected somebody's, like, LAN or something. Spies modem or their um, network. Anyways, um, what I see is, um, or thought of when I watched one of the horror movies, um, I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it was the, it might have been the re the reboot. That might have been the last one I saw, or the one where he actually entered the real world or something to torment, you know, Wes Craven. But um, what I do is um, I don't know. You see, everyone's playing Pokemon Go these days, so maybe there's this guy walking down the down the sidewalk, you know, he's playing Pokemon Go, and Freddy's glove comes through, you know, comes through 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 the phone screen and slits his throat. I mean, and then but anybody watching wouldn't see the glove, but they just see. This guy's neck split open, you know, and, and they just watch this guy die. You see, it's just kind of, you know, probably a jump scare type thing. Or, um, I don't know, maybe, um, Freddy, you know, could come out of a, could come out of somebody's tablet, you know. It'd be a sight gag and really cheesy, but it seems like it would fit the franchise. And again, these are probably all silly ideas. But, um, script writing was never really my forte. But, anyways, I think Freddy should be, like, a, a digital Freddy, you know. It's because, I mean, it's bad enough he invades dreams, but now he can invade your local area network, you know. He can invade your internet. You know, what's safe, what's sacred, you know, like that. And, um, just, you know, scenarios like that. I mean, like, if you leave your tablet on, you know, then he could, like, invade your room. I don't know. But, um, it was just silly ideas I came up with trying to make the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, you know, really relevant again, because they haven't had a movie in a while, and the ones that they have had recently just weren't the best. I'm not going to say 
they suck because they have merit, but uh, they they could have been better. And I think it's just because some of the tropes world, and I really do like Freddy being all goofy, you know, and funny. But it's been over 10 minutes, so I'm probably going to wrap this video up. Um, if you like what you what you see, you know, on this channel, then, of course, like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Um, <sighs> donate if you want to. Uh, all that information is down in the description. Um, I'm trying to think, make sure I've covered all the bases. I will be back tomorrow with an opening of, not these, not these five, not these, not these five random booster packs, but I've got five that I opened, you know, all the stuff is pre-recorded, so I'm just basically post these, I'm basically like a network, I basically make the videos ahead of time and post them on the days when they're supposed to be posted, which basically anyone can do. Anyways, um, this is, uh, let's make sure I'm not missing anything here. Nope. Okay. Thanks for watching and have a great day.